thanks for stopping back to Pete's Garage. Well, i got to continue on with this engine build, but I have to order my push rods or else it'll be dead in the water. And there's a special tool you use and a special way to measure the geometry of the valve train and the rocker on to make sure you get the right size or the right length push rods. So let's measure. What I'll be using is this special push rod measuring tool. And this is basically a push rod with threads on the end that as you unscrew it, you can lengthen it and make it shorter. So I'm going to put this, first thing I have to do is put some lifters in. And yes, I know we want a video about the history of lifters. I'm working on that. It's not as easy as you think. So now remembering, I have my cylinder number one is on top dead center, so I know my valve will be shut here. And I'm going to put the adjustable part of this tool in first. That just makes it easier to adjust on inside. And I'll sit a rocker arm on here. Now, let's take a quick look at the angle this way so we can look at the geometry. The first thing to notice here, first is you can see how the push rod comes in where it meets the rocker arm here. It's on a, this is coming in straight up and this is on an angle. That's number one. Number two, you can see that the end of the roller here is not exactly in the center of the valve. And if I just reach under here and just lift this up, you can see how as I lift this up, of course, this angle in here is going to change, and this is going to move towards the center of the valve, right like that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to adjust this push rod by unscrewing it until two things. One, I want to make sure that the roller is in the center of the valve. Gotta keep going until you get that in the middle. Okay, just about in the center of the valve right now. Okay. Now you can see this angle's a little better. The push rod, the push rod's almost let me hit that by accident. Um, the push rod now is straighter. It's almost perpendicular with the cylinder head face itself here. And that looks like that's almost almost right. So now what I can do is I can put my nut on here and I'll tighten this down like you would with when you're adjusting the lash so you don't want to go too far now because oh, see that's a little bit further you don't want to go too far because you don't want to compress the lifter because it's a hydraulic lifter and I have to readjust that because I just had that let me go a little bit more here Okay, that roller roller is just about in the middle of the lifter there. So I'm gonna, I got it tight, and need a wrench here. Of course, I'm never gonna make the Olympic wrench guessing team. I'm gonna put one half a turn on it just to make sure I got some pressure on there. So. Now what I can do is turn the engine over a few times, open and close this valve, and make sure that the roller is riding on the center of the valve. Okay, let's turn this over a couple of times. Keep the valve open. Close. And back to the base circle on the cam. Now let's take this off and see where our roller ended up. And looks like the roller was right on the center. Actually go up just a teeny weeny bit more. Now these should be standard sizes. I'm not going to have to have custom push rods made. So what we're trying to do is here get really close, like within, within uh, let's say 50, 60 thousandths. It's not going to be huge off. There's only so many sizes available. So okay, let me put this on here. Put a half a turn on that. I'll turn it over again to make sure that that rocker. Sitting right in a valve. Ok, 
Okay. Right there. That seems like it's about right. Let's take another look. Of course, I had to drop the nut. That looks a little better. That marks right in the center of the valve. So it looks like that's about the push rod lengths right there. You can see the geometry here is a little better. I gotta get that push rod. It keeps on coming out of there. So I'm gonna set the lash here. Right to there. Go half a turn, just like that. Now our rocker is a little straighter. We're sitting in the lifter just right. We're in the ball end is in the rocker arm, and the ball is ball is riding right in the center. So that should be a good length right there. Now if I just pull this out very slowly and measure. Now I know most of you are not going to have an 8 inch or 12 inch set of calipers. You're going to have just a standard 6 inch. So we're going to do this old school and use a ruler. And for those of you who do not know how to use a ruler, you may not want to be building engines. Now if I set this right on the edge here, it looks like this push rod is going to measure 7 and 1 8, which is a standard size. So it works out just about perfect. Okay, so I took the push rod and measured it with calipers. Even though it was 7 and 8 on a ruler, push rods only come in length of 7.1, 7.2, 7.3. I can't get a 7.125 push rod. I took that tool and measured it with a set of calipers, and it was 7.090. So we're going to go with a 7.1 push rod for this engine. If you're doing this yourself, if you need one of those tools, you can buy them from Summit. They're not that expensive. Or you can probably, maybe even rent one from AutoZone. If your AutoZone has it, you might be able to get from them and use it cheap. So I'm going to order my push rods. We'll get this thing together and get it running. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.